Hello, Ducks hockey fans in Orange County, California, United States, Finland, Canada, and all over the world. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope you guys are having a great day today. What started off as a promise by Ducks general manager Pat Verbeek in getting a top right wing forward and a top right-handed defenseman is becoming more and more clearly, in my own opinion, a gamble, a roll of the dice, you say. More like a gambit. There's been slight changes and adjustment to our Anaheim Ducks hockey team as of late with the arrival of forward Robbie Fabry, defenseman Brian Dumoulin via trades, and the departure of left wing Max Jones and center Bo Gru, along with a few signings here and there. Let's be very open-minded on what we're seeing right now. From the looks of it, Beaker is going with the Gambit. If you look at the roster and the players from the forwards, the fence core, and the two goaltenders, nothing has changed. Nothing has been altered in a major way. We had to deal with rumors. I had to deal with rumors. I tolerated rumors, like all Ducks fans do. But nothing seemed to come to fruition, to reality. All we are seeing right now is kind of like a deja vu to the old school strategy of our Anaheim Ducks developing within. Basically relying on the players they have right now, from Mason McTavish, Troy Terry, Trevor Zigaris, Isaac Lundstrom, Cam Fowler, Pablo Mijokov, to Lucas Dolstol. The way I look at it, this gambit is mostly focusing on allowing these players that I've named and the players you see on the roster to assume more duties, more responsibilities in hitting the ground running. Many of you have seen vids of several of the Ducks players from Mason, Tavish to Leo Carlson, focusing on training and improving themselves, ensuring that they, and like all of the players within the Anaheim Ducks, never have the same feeling of disappointment as they did last season. How do we know this team will be better? I wish I know. I wish I had the answers, but I don't. I know all Ducks fans are debating on whether or not this team can make it this far. Beaker wants the Ducks to make it to the Stanley Cup playoffs, but it, what it all comes down to is can our team achieve its goal in making the Stanley Cup playoffs with the players they have now? Don't get me wrong. I have nothing against the players on the forward lines, defense core, or the goaltending. It's just that they must be active in setting the tone, going for the kill. Scoring first would be nice. Hell, <laughs> it would be better if they start doing something instead of just relying too heavily on their goalie, whether it be Dolstor or Gibson. I personally believe that this plan B of Beaker I'm sure that what happens will define 
how long he will be as a Ducks general manager and how loud the critics of Beaker will be. Yes, he has some critics. I've talked to them. I've spoken to them. Not face to face, but some of them want Beaker to be more active, trying to pursue. He did with trying to get Steve Stamkos and another player to help improve our team. But it's more likely as each day, each week, and month pass, the Ducks will rely with the, the roster and the young core they have intact right now. Am I disappointed in Beaker? Yes, but no. I'm not disappointed that he did his best to try to get two of the top UFAs in free agent frenzy. But however, I am a bit disappointed that he is not pursuing trades enough, but then again, it's up for debate. With only one month to go before the puck drops for our Anaheim Ducks 24-25 hockey season, we won't know until how the roster will look like. A few weeks from now, gathering the Ducks, also known as training camp, will begin. How this gamble will pay off will depend on the first five months of the 24-25 season. But for now, I hate to sound cliche, we got to wait and see. Till then, I'll see you guys soon. Go next.